Welcome. In this session in linear data analysis, we'll explore Fisher's linear discriminant. Now, if we were trying to do principal components analysis of unlabeled data, we would use the total scatter. And we know how to write the total scatter. That is the transpose of the zero mean matrix times the zero mean. What Ronald Fisher in 1936, when he was exploring his iris data, proposed was that what we really want to do is we want to divide the data according to the labels and we want to take these labels into account in our analysis. So let's suppose that what we do is we reorder our observations so that the first set of observations correspond to label 1 and the second set of observations correspond to label 2. If you're using plus 1 and minus 1, that's okay. We can redo this. Uh, you can now think of this as just label 1 and label 2. So this partition of the matrix will then, that will be um, original observations in A1. And we can find the mean of that. So the mean is going to be a row-like object. And from that, we can find the zero mean data matrix of those label one observations. Very important to note that. And then we can form a scatter matrix for that label. And that will just be the transpose of the zero mean matrix for, the, for that label times the zero mean matrix for that label. And likewise, for label two, we can perform the same thing. So what that means is that we can now formulate what Fisher referred to as within labels. And in machine learning, this is normally referred to as the scatter matrix for within, and it's almost always subscripted with a W. And we can now see that that will be scatter matrix 1 plus scatter matrix 2. And what Fisher proposed was that we also explore the scatter between labels. And what that does is we take these row-like um, means of the labeled data matrices and we accumulate them into a larger matrix. And let's call that matrix between. And its first row will be the mean of the first label. And its second row will be the mean of the second label. Now, these will not, in general, be zero mean. So what we have to do is, well, what's the sum of this mean and this mean? Well, that's the mean of the data, of the whole data matrix. So we can say that this between label mean matrix is the mean of label A1 minus the mean of all the data, the mean of label 2 minus the mean of all the data, and now we can formulate the between label scatter matrix as just we take that zero mean um, between label data, transpose it, and multiply it by this matrix. And so what we can do now is we can formulate the between label scatter and the within label scatter. And what Fisher proposed was that we have two objectives. And these are simultaneous objectives. And if we attempt to solve them independently, we in general won't get the same answer. So what we want to do is we want the maximum eigenvector of the between labels matrix. And so that is, we want to maximize the scatter between labels. Whatever direction we're picking, we want it to separate the labels as well as possible. And we also want, while we're doing that, to minimize the scatter within the labels. And you can see that, in general, these are independent problems, and we'll get independent eigenvectors. And it's not immediately clear how to solve these. Well, we can use some of the results from a previous session, and we can say that this is a process that will result from maximizing over all of the possible vectors that are non-zero, of course, of the Rayleigh quotient of 
the between label scatter. And likewise, we can say that that is a result. So we want to form it as a maximization. So if we maximize, if we minimize the eigenvector of within a, a label scatter, that's the same as maximizing the inverse. Now that assumes that SW inverse exists. We'll assume that it does. There are numerical methods that we can use if that happens to be a singular matrix. So we'll say that that is the maximum over all possible vectors of the Rayleigh quotient. And now we'll take the within label scatter and we'll invert that matrix. And so what linear, what Ronald Fisher's linear discriminant is, is it simultaneously solves these problems. And the way that we can do this is that if we're maximizing this and maximizing that, then we're maximizing the product. So what we have is this. We have Fisher's linear discriminant. And this is usually abbreviated as linear discriminant analysis. And that is we want the vector, the unit vector, that is the maximum over all possible vectors of the product of these. So that will be, we take the within label scatter matrix, we invert that, we multiply it by the between label scatter, and we get Fisher's linear discriminant analysis. Now, Fisher was working before eigenvalues and eigenvectors, before that terminology was commonly accepted. In that paper, he doesn't use these, but this is our reconstruction using modern linear algebra. So that, of course, is this problem of finding the maximum eigenvalue is all we need to do is we just need to compute this matrix and then we can use MATLAB's eig function and it will give us the maximum eigenvalue and the maximum eigenvector. And that maximum eigenvector is Fisher's linear discriminant and that is the direction in your data that simultaneously maximizes the between label scatter and minimizes the within label scatter.